So the Brotherword processor is taking longer to finish up than I thought due to various issues. So let's talk about mains plugs. Now I'm British and in Britain we use these. This is a UK plug, possibly one of the best designed plugs in the world, not that I'm biased or anything. It is polarized, meaning that the appliance knows which of the pins is live, which one is neutral. It's earthed, although this particular plug is not. You can see that the earth pin here is plastic. And it's fused. The fuse lives in this shutter here. This allows you to use a lower rated wire than the main system normally allows and you'll be safe from fires if a partial short circuit in the appliance causes more current draw than the wire is rated for. So this is designed for a double insulated device which doesn't use a lot of current. That's why you can get away with a plastic earth pin because there's no earth on this end to connect to. Now I'm British, but I live in Switzerland. Switzerland uses these. This is a polarized non-fused plug. This is from a batch that I bought from a DIY shop to put on various appliances, like the British stuff I have that I brought to Switzerland. It doesn't have a fuse, unlike the British one. It is still polarized because the off-center earth pin here means that the appliance always knows which of these two pins is live and which is neutral. However, Switzerland being in the heart of Europe, although it's not actually in Europe, it is inside Europe, is surrounded by other countries. So you also get these. This is a Shuko plug, or to be more accurate, this is a combination Shuko and some other standard plug. Shuko is what they use in Germany. This uh, Shuko uses two non-polarized pins here and earth in these slots. The plug can be inserted either way up so the appliance does not know which is live. In France, however, they use a very similar plug but it doesn't have these two earth bits here. Instead, there is a pin sticking out of the socket that goes into this hole thus providing you with a polarized plug. Uh, I'll show more of this in a moment. This, of course, is not fused. You also get these. This is Italian. This is non-polarized because these three pins are all in a row and can be inserted either way up. It's subtly different from the Swiss one. And you also get you also get, where did I put it? Here we go. You also get these. This is a Euro plug. The Euro plug is a horrible compromise that allows you to produce appliances that you can plug in in most European countries. Now, you notice that these two pins here are sloping in towards each other. It's easier to see if I hold it up next to something like the Italian plug. That's because this pin spacing in all the various countries is not quite the same. So this, the pins are slightly flexible, thus allowing you to insert one of these into a German socket, a French socket, a Swiss socket, an Italian socket, but not a British socket because the British are special. So what I'm getting at here is we have a lot of plugs and as a result, we have adapters. And normally adapters look like this. This is a big chunky travel adapter that I got from work for traveling with. It's got a bunch of slide out pins here for various countries. So this is for Switzerland and Italy. And that they lock in place so that you have to press this button before they'll collapse in. This one is, I think this one's Australia with the angled pins. This one, of course, is the United Kingdom. And you see, it does have a metal earth pin. And this one is the United States and probably associated countries. I am being very Eurocentric here. 
Uh, there are many other countries in the world that use versions of all of these and I don't know anything about them, so I'm not going to talk about them. On this side, we have a socket with lots of holes, which will take most of these plugs. So this is the Euro plug. It goes in through these holes, and you notice that it's not a very good fit. You just have to push hard, and it goes in. We've got Italian. It does the same thing. We've got unpolarized French and German. Oh look, that won't go in because these pins are too thick for these holes. This is a good thing, I'll show you in a moment. You've got UK and, uh, and that's actually the lot. However, you can also do this. This reveals a familiar looking combination Schuko French socket, uh, plug rather, with a corresponding socket here. This then allows you to plug in the combination Shuko plug and get a unpolarized but earthed output. It does not allow you to plug in the polarized French plug because there is no corresponding earth pin sticking out here, which I think is a bit of an oversight, but anyway. These have the downside of being expensive and very big. So you can also get these. This is supplied with appliances in Switzerland. What this is, is a adapter from the French style to the Swiss style. So you can see here it's got an earth pin that goes in the hole of the plug and it pushes on like this. And I'm only going to go this far because this is a permanent adapter. It doesn't come off again, or at least it doesn't unless you pull very hard and risk spilling your tea. There we go. It's permanent because there are teeth in these holes which grab onto these pins so that once you've pushed it on, you can't get it off again. So that's how you're supposed to do it. However, you also get the other kind of adapter. These tend to come from grey market importers because you're buying from outside the country. You're not governed by the electrical regulations of the country you're buying into. And these look like this. These are colloquially known as death adapters for reasons that will become apparent. I've had these for ages at the bottom of a drawer. I only recently dug them out and decided to have a look at them. It's kind of a good thing I did. This was actually pretty well made. This, as you can see, it's got a UK uh, plug on one side and a huge array of holes here for other types of plugs. So I can stick a Swiss one in, I can Swiss a, that was my multimeter, sorry, a Euro plug in, I can stick a Shuko in with difficulty. Notice how there is no earth connection whatsoever, even though there is an earth pin here. And uh, now the big difference you'll see if you compare the good adapter with the death adapter is the death adapter has much bigger holes and it doesn't have any shutters. Where did I put my screwdriver? Here. The shutters open when you push a pin in, but resist people who should know better or people who are too young to know better from pushing stuff like cutlery into the holes for a safety purpose. Now, these don't have shutters, so in goes the spoon, which is brilliant. Uh, they also, because they're physically smaller, they don't have this plastic shroud around the socket. And that's there for a reason. That is there, that's the wrong kind of plug, to stop you from plugging in Okay, that's not a very good example. The shutter is stopping me plugging plug that in there. Uh, 
but in general it's to stop you doing really stupid things like this or this this one is great because this is actually connecting the which pin is that that's live i believe yes that's live live here to the earth connection if this was a earth appliance then the outer chassis of the device would now be live which is superb um this one is actually got a fuse which is a step up but even though these things are designed shoddily they are also made shoddily this one is a French German Schuko output adapter and if I get out the multimeter I think it was beeping earlier come on beep okay so this is uh, detecting if a circuit is made so let us test these pins so that's connected these two pins that's connected. And now let's test Earth, shall we? Oh, look. There's no beep. Why is there no beep? There's no beep because the Earth pin, which should go from these metal contacts here and from this thing here for when you're in France to the combined Earth pins in these four holes here, is not actually connected. In fact, it's supposed to be connected. It's just really badly made. If I connect here and I push this all the way in, it does actually make a connection. But if I plug something in, I'm using the other death adapter just for convenience, and then check for an earth connection, you get nothing. That's because only the metal at the very bottom of this hole is actually hooked up to earth. And this pin's just not long enough. It doesn't go in far enough to make contact with the actual contact. And this one also has other problems, such as the fact that these monster holes designed to take huge numbers of different adapters. This one will take, uh, I think this one is, hang on, I've got this, I can try it. So we've got, American, which should go in, but it's not because, yes, be just because this is badly made and there's some bent contacts inside. So, stroke of luck there. Yeah, we've tried British. What about Australian? Does that go in? Yes, it does, but I have no idea whether it's meant to. Uh, I can probably try to get these through the shutters somehow. Probably try to see if there's any contact made. Okay, I'm not actually sure whether I'm doing that right, but uh, hang on, I can... Do it like this. So that opens the shutters properly. So that's connected. That's connected. But of course, we won't get any earth. Yep. Uh, and the last one was Swiss. We've just tried Swiss. So yeah. And in fact, this demonstrates another problem, which is these things are so badly made that they don't really make very good mechanical uh, contact. So that, for example, if I stick this Euro plug in, that's not really what you want out of a mains plug. Um, and in fact, while I was testing this one earlier, uh, one of the, I think it was the neutral pin, this one, wasn't, con wasn't registering. But then I plugged lots of stuff in and out of it, and it started again. So I must have moved something inside. 
Oh look, and now the earth stopped working on this one as well. Yeah, that's fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bust these things open, they're glued together, and see just how badly made they are on the inside. So I used the multi-grips of power to uh, break the seal on this one, and now this plastic piece comes off. This is the slightly better made one of the pair. So this now exposes the brass contacts. Let's have a little bit of zoom, actually. Okay, so these things are not actually fastened on with anything. They just push in place and there's a friction fit. The actual electrical contact is, trying to make sure I'm still in focus, this little piece, wait a minute, no, that's plastic. Wait, where is the electrical contact? Uh, wow, no wonder it was, wasn't working very well. The electrical contact is here. This metal piece just friction fits on against this, which is a shoddily bent piece of brass. It doesn't even push firmly into place. It just sort of sits. So if this moves a millimetre or so in each direction, it'll stop making contact. Oh, and this one's just loose. This is probably the one that wasn't working before. Uh, that's got to be a fault. It's not, it's, it can't possibly be supposed to do that. This pin is not sprung, but that is the connection to this. Oh, actually, actually, it's slightly more complicated than that, so let's just pull the fuse out. Yeah. This is the neutral pin. This is the live pin. So this gets routed to here, through the fuse, and then up the other side to here. So this would just have been pressing loosely against that metal pin there. And the whole thing would have been held in by... Uh, how did this go in? This. By this which, like on this side, it doesn't go in at all firmly. It just sits. And then this glued-in piece here would have actually have done the work of holding it all together. Wow. It's the first time I've actually done this. I knew these things were bad. I didn't know they were that bad. This is the earth piece. This pushes up against this pin here. None of these are sprung. This one does at least have this bump here, which should push against the uh, the earth pin. Hmm. Yeah, I would expect any non-terrible adapter to, you know, at least have, you know screws or rivets or something holding it all together rather than just chance. See this, this is the bit that people see. This has been heat staked on this side. That's what these things are. They are black pegs that go through holes in the brass that has then been flattened down with a hot iron. They actually work pretty well. This is a rivet. That rivet will then go through probably to a pin up on this side. Yes, I'm smashing it up. I'm never going to use this again. So what's... Oh, oh, this is not held in by anything again. 
will have just kind of pushed into place. Uh, there we go, there's the other side of that rivet. So this wasn't really being held in by anything much. Wow. Okay, well, that was terrible. The fuse works. And it's a 13 amp fuse. Do not push 13 amps through one of these adapters. You will regret it, and so will anyone else living in the same building. So there's this one. Uh, let's just try smashing this open on camera. And if that doesn't work, I'll take it offline. Uh, so I'm trying to get some focus, and that was easier than it should really be. So what's this got in it? Now, this is slightly different. This has actual screws. These will probably connect down to whatever's underneath. Now, the thing that was wrong with this was that these pieces here were not making electrical contact with the flat piece of metal that you can see down there. So let's just verify this. Let's get the meter in the right setting. Now that beeps. Uh, okay, it's making contact now, but that's presumably because I've wrenched the thing about by uh, opening it in a rather crude fashion. Does this pop out? I think... Ah! This is all one piece of metal. I don't know if that's visible, but if you can see it moving, the rivet down there, which is connecting it to the earth stuff, isn't tight, so there's some slack. And I bet that in one position, it doesn't make electrical contact. Or maybe that's not a rivet, it's just a nail. Trying to find the focus point. Uh, it's not a screw. It's got a some kind of bushing on the bottom. But that probably explains why this doesn't work. Wow. Okay, what about these? These are fastened in, presumably with these screws. So let's just take these off. Yeah, I should not have been able to just pull that, I have to say. Again, wrenching it about has probably not done any of the... Uh, any of the mechanical structures in this thing much good, but... I didn't wrench it about that much. Okay, so these brass pieces just screw on. That's okay. Screws aren't the greatest, particularly given these screws are supposed to be drawing or carrying all the current. I think you're supposed to be using uh, rivets or crimping for this sort of thing. I, just, I don't see how to get the rest open. This is all one piece. So it took a while and I did end up having to shred it with the multi-grips. 
But this is what the inside looks like. And it's actually slightly better than I was expecting. This is... Is it ceramic? Oh, hang on, it just pushes out. Cool. This is the actual thing that plugs into the mains. It's not ceramic, but it's some kind of hard plastic. It's better than the rest of this stuff. So these three, well, these two screws screw on here and transfer the current up to the top half of the adapter. This very dubious looking thing, whatever it is, pushes into this metal crimp cup like that like it just it literally it just pushes in there's no screw thread or anything that's really really sucky uh this metal piece which is the shuko style outer for the earth just clips on come off again uh, oh so if you can hear any funny noises it's because right now switzerland is getting or at least my bit of switzerland regular big thunderstorms every night in the summer and that is probably what you're hearing so what we've got here is these two pieces connect to German contacts. This cup here connects to French contacts. And the whole thing goes into this horrible friction fit nail. That's uh, I think this one is the worst, but this, this is also the worst. So, um, I was going to try and come up with some kind of snappy conclusion to all this, but the conclusion is pretty obvious, which is if you get one of these with an appliance, throw it away, go and get a proper adapter, whatever your country's equivalent of one of these is, or one of these, or what I normally do, uh, which is to simply buy some local plugs. Where did I put the Swiss one? Like this. And then I take a UK multi-adapter, chop the, the plug off the wire and put this on instead. So then I get proper sockets for plugging my UK appliances into and a proper plug for plugging into the Swiss wall. But these things, yeah, they, they suck. Just throw them away. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this rant. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah, I reckon that fuse just doesn't work, at least anymore.